everybody, welcome back to another Final Fantasy VI Battle Royale, the uh, final table with the Blackjack series. I am Sarah Wolf, I'm joined in the booth by one free Fitz, who was actually part of the competition not too long ago. How you doing, Fitz? Uh, pretty good, yeah. I was a part. My, my finality card lives on beyond me, so glad uh, to see yeah. that. They'll still have to deal with that. <laughs> You're leaving some uh, stuff behind, that's okay. Let's go over the, um, so what happened last week is we had round two of the Blackjack Battle Royale, and uh, we had Infinite Fluff, Falcon Hit, Pedro Canelas, and Boo moving on to the uh, next round. The uh, lowest time was 1.20.02, was the latest qualifying time, which means Zenobian, Double Down, Gar, and Jex Rock are out from last week. Yeah, and a quick moment of silence for, you know, our eliminated runners. And that's enough. Um, but <laughs> 108, 18, uh, very fast time. And oh, 11, I believe in this round, the, t the top two uh, only survive to advance. So if I'm one of these runners, I think my target is like 115. Yeah, maybe even faster because the, the flag picks that these guys pick for round three just made the seed even faster. So... Just really quick, we're starting with, uh, we'll start with the big topics as we get closer, though. Uh, because basically we're starting with uh, a Vanilla uh, Sabin, and we're starting with uh, Edgar with Jump. So, to the Figaro Brothers we're starting with, uh, we have River Mastery, learned all the uh, Blitz moves. We've kind of seen a little bit of a split between people doing it, people not doing it, waiting to level 42 to get it with Ban, uh, get it with the... Uh, uh, Pannon's look-alike, sorry, with Duncan. <laughs> um, then we had Dracenic characters, 160 to 200% with the stats, so the characters are extra strong. Open world, so the guys can go anywhere. Vanilla shops, uh, which means we know what all the shops have, uh, but there's no toys in them, which means no rods, no balls in those uh, shops. Rule free lunch, which means the high-tier items are on the checks that don't have any bosses. Uh, we also have uh, Finality, which you mentioned before, which is Permadeath. Uh, we do have Life 3 available. Phoenix will cast Life 3, but that's it for that. Uh, silence, which means all the characters are going to be muted, but since we have uh, Vanilla Shops, we know where all the White Capes are. Potent Espers, uh, we have to get the White Capes first, but Potent Espers means the Espers are cast uh, multiple, multiple times and will always have um, some spells to learn from. NPC Zapper is more quality of life to get rid of some NPCs that are in the way. Dragon's Horizon, there's a theme coming here. Dragon's Horizon plus four dragons on top of the six esper, six characters, nine espers that we need. 100% random chests, tough scaling, which means two and a half percent, two and a half times the espers, characters, and dragons that we do have, which means scaling will go all the way up to around 47. Unless you get extra, then it's going to be 50. Random chest, 100% random chest, I just mentioned about four. Uh, friend skip, if we get uh, three extra characters, so nine characters will give us a Kafka skip to get to the switches of Kafka's Tower. Hunter, fighters hunt. Once we kill the four dragons, uh, all the characters will have plus 20 vigor, which would be great for the uh, Edgar, be the jump and all that will help with them. And again, uh, so moving on to our round three draw, just if we weren't going fast enough, <laughs> we made it even faster because now we have dragon's egg and a set of dragoon gear when they kill two dragons. And if that wasn't all, we have stronger commands, which means sketch and steal and some of the lesser uh, abilities that people don't really care for. Those are not even available. So we have a higher chance of getting shock, magitech armor, stuff like that. And uh, last but not least, factory upgrades. So if we do have magitech armor, if we ha we can do uh, Celeste's check, which is the magitech facility. If we go through, really through that, we get uh, the mtech rocket launcher. Whew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the flex yeah a lot of a lot of action going on um definitely some big ones in terms of the open world the not getting progression from the free checks the vanilla shops combined with no toys means this the tamasa shop uh doesn't have those rods that we would normally get on that flag and then of course finality and auto mute can come into play um, if we run into a tough boss and we're behind on scaling. And then, of course, as I experienced in round one, mm. the tears of Kefka can just bully you um, into submission. So, what do you think about the uh, dragon theme that we have going on here? Yeah, that seemed to be kind of like the 
uh, it started in round two, and then they've they've really built it upon that. Um, been a long event, so I can't blame our our runners for wanting to get a fast seed. Um, but I think that means that the margin of error gets a lot smaller as well when having such fast flags at play. Okay, well, it looks like our runners are going to be ready to go here. So once again, we have Infinite Fluff, Falcon Hip, Pedro Canales, and Boo. We're going to start things off here in just a second. Got some interesting go. colors going on here. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, very interesting colors going on here. And we are off and running here in the background. Delay, of course, with the restreams here. So the fellows should be going here in just a second. Yeah. Nobody tracking, so I got to hold double duty here. <laughs> the Yeti. The Yeti is number three, huh? Um, I haven't. They've been flashing very quickly. Didn't see it. Didn't, didn't get any good stat peaks. This is a uh, top two. Oh, 62 move on Magic to the Power final. Yeti. I saw that. Yeah, if we get a Blizz Orb, you know, they can. Ooh, an Experience Egg and the Colingan in at the Setzer spot. That's a huge find. 30 seconds in for Boo. Yeah, an Ice Shield for uh, Infinite Fluff there. I saw just a second ago. Or Falcon hit, sorry. Ooh, we're seeing that NPZ zapper. Sorry, old guy. Get out of the way. Um, on Fluff's side. Yeah, I think in the beginning, I would I would be looking for those, those fast free checks. They're going to give us high-tier items, so we well, want to get on that. Well, that's what Zenobian was doing in the prior rounds. Like, he did literally every single check that was almost, that was quote-unquote free, but didn't have a boss, but it still revealed, like, a character item. So he kept, he, he like, he like skidded around the uh, edge of like trying to fight bosses and stuff. Yeah, I saw Falcon hit in the, uh, in the Terra basement here. There was an offering in there as well as an ice shield. Woo! So two ice shields available. So we've seen some big value early on. Uh, let's see what's in the treasure chest in uh, Narsh. I saw tiger Ooh. fangs. That's meh. Fire rods in the basement, though, for infinite fluff. Love to see those early on. Another ice shield. Just so many ice shields. And with potent espers, I mean, we could see some early Merton uh, going on. And Illumina in the South Figaro what? basement. Um, oh, okay. that is. With the 100% random chest, we are going to see some crazy wild items. We will see less of things that, you know, Marvel you don't shows. miss until the end. Like, X potions and elixirs are going to be a little bit less common than the lower percent um, randomness. So that's something that I forgot oh. in round one. Experience Egg or Thunder Shield is the choice in the weapon shop. Experience Egg, obviously also known as the Win Egg, is going to probably win out on top. Two. Is, that's the second Experience Egg? Yeah, they got, because the Setzer calling an end check is also an Experience Egg. Oh my goodness. So, so they is really setting up really good. Or actually, all of them are going to have good if we can get there. They're an egg shy of an Experience Omelette, which is a winning <laughs> recipe in Worlds Collide. Man, yeah, I don't I think see we're going to get Yeti there, though. <laughs> some fixed dice. I mean, Regal if I, we had a third one, I, I would just to keep that uh, party average going up, but uh, that would too. Um, I didn't Man. peek any of these commands yet either, so we'll, well have to see. Well, we know the commands oh, are. We know we Jump, know, we know blitz, jump yeah. is on uh, Edgar. We know Blitz is on Save, and he's vanilla. And, of course, <laughs> Yeti's doing do Yeti things. So... <laughs> It's really everyone from here is the mystery. Yes. And here's the thing. Like, we were talking about how fast the seed's going to be. Like, we're looking at, like, 110, 115 is going to be target time. Now, with an Illumina and two experience eggs, this got even shorter. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. and, and just like an offering and a common looting spot for open world as well means that if we happen to find one of our uh, pointy knives or rigged dice, then, you know, I don't know if we have to really worry that much for offense at this point. It's just kind of get progression as fast as I can. Yeah, I guess so, but on the throne is a Genji helmet, not too, nothing too crazy. Wow, wow. Thunder Rob, we have another breakable available now. <laughs> Boo's oh. like, get out of my way, man. <laughs> it still takes yeah. a minute with the uh, X zone removal. It's not just a straight thunk. It does take a couple seconds for them to remove the white the NBC though. For sure, it's not free, so we have to. It's interesting with open world. The only reason we would really use it, I think, would be a jerk NPC that's really blocking us. Or I guess bosses still, like a floating continent, um, Sparkle, or um, sometimes the Magitek bosses will get Y removed as well. Or I guess Y zapped. <laughs> uh, oh, Gao is in a vanilla environment here on the, uh, hmm. on the Velt here for Falcon hit. Now with the stronger command flags, I feel like Gao could be OP. We'll see what he has for commands. Possibly he does get. He's the only one that gets two commands possible. Magic Tech and Dance. Boom! He's a I think I robot. would immediately go to the factory and just like turn on Gao. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could chaining these are good too get those initial grind fights and then oh wow the dances are even good too right to the factory uh boo getting his tritoch esper from the thief yeah we'll have to see what that holds when they look at it fluff going to world of ruin to see their thief and also do Seven check. Yep, which is a soldier holding it up. And this is actually almost twice as expensive. So Boo getting a little bit of a discount going to World of Balance here. Now, uh, a Saber Wolf with no free lunch on does Collapsing House reward us progression, uh, or is this no. a high tier item? No, this is high tier item. I believe, I believe Collapsing House is a free free. The only one that's that's free free but still gives you something is uh, Mount Zozo, because of the dragon there. Because people because people kind of loop on the dragon, and they treat that as the boss. Yeah, I guess you have to pay a um, thousand gold to get to it. So that yeah. Plus you have plus it is a cap behind something. So it's, yeah, it's gated. Yeah. Normally, not for our runners. They can go anywhere, do anything. Uh, Boo going into the basement for a third ice shield. So there's three ice shields available. Um, so we do have possible uh, um, Merton strats, because I believe ice shield gives you zero damage from fire, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm hmm. So possible Merton strats available. Part of Canada gets their try to touch at the day 37,000 discount. He's on the board. Yeah, I think if I'm a runners with like all of this stuff and it, none of it, no one has pulled something like crazy in a wild out of the way box. Um, and when that happens, I'm always like, uh oh, everyone's got this stuff too. Um, and I think Falcon hit is really the first to start diving checks. We'll see if that pays off for them down the line. Yep. Uh, nobody would really do anything crazy. Uh, Pirate Canada is, is going to go into uh, Mobla's uh, World of Balance, which uh, that does have... Not no, Mobla's, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mobla's. I'm right. That was right the first time. Uh, that is where uh, white capes are available. That gives us rid of the mute status that's on the characters that we mentioned at the beginning of the uh, telecast, I guess. Streaming cast? Streaming cast. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we want to call it. Yeah, yeah, not a bad idea to snag those if you're in the area. 
31 sleeping bags we'll never need uh yeah. any more camping supplies so really loading up and won't have to make this trip later oh on. the doggo <laughs> wow somebody called Peter on boo my goodness that's, vi that's vicious that's vicious um they just wanted to say hey you cannot pet the dog in ff6 and it looks like Pero here is uh following right behind falcon head looking to chain that that dried meat into a little swim through the ocean and there's a magicite palador because we all know with uh, just a uh, diving helmet one is able to withstand the incredible pressures at the depths <laughs> of the serpent trench well these are superhero characters you know so it's really interesting to see where we see the illumina land um seems that everybody's putting it on edgar yeah, I wonder if they just have the... I would just look at Vigor and be like, who's got the highest? You get it. Um, yeah, but it's also about speed because, yeah, Jump can do a lot of damage with jumping and everything, and we do have, like, a Gold Spear. It looks like it's available for everybody. But you're also talking about time, where you're going kind of hanging in the air, like, forever and ever, like, not knowing when they're going to come down to actually uh, move on with the rest of the uh, run here. You know? Hmm. So giving the sword to... Edgar, instead of having him jump, speeds him up just a little bit. That Tritok Esper I saw has magic power plus two. Um, Paro threw it on Gao, which makes sense because they have magic tech, and you could pretty much just forget about worrying that they need stuff because they're just going to shoot missiles or throw them. It always looks like they're throwing them. They're just going to huck. It's a rocket launcher. You have a, it's like a rocket along the shoulder. It's like the uh, uh, the ex-wife with War Machine, you know? The infinite, the infinite rocket launcher is is going to be online for for sure. Um, uh, infinite Fluff, by the way, um, also point out that we do have the experience tag that we could put on Sabin to get those 42 levels for the bum rush. Um, so that's the other reason why we want to put the Illumina. A second oh, Illumina! My oh my goodness. Infinite Fluff finding a second Illumina, people. That is incredible. Just There's your out-of-the-way chest that we were talking about, you were talking about before. Yeah, I think it's, this is a little bit of, you know... Oh, don't, you can put the Illumina in the back row, guys. What, what are you doing? Put it in the front row. Infinite Fluff, it's the back row. Um, and additionally, I do get that chest a lot even if uh i'm at no i'm on a no chest policy because we have to wait for those doors to shuffle anyway it's like one of the chests that it doesn't cost time to get because unless we have that y remove on the doors because those are npcs oh that's um, true our doors are npcs but we don't really have I don't our first think boss the screen without the rapper the rapper oh yeah let's see here or it was not rapper the rapper yeah didn't didn't see them very Ooh. much. Uh, Inferno is a difficult uh, fight A bit of here. a toughie. We do have a Thunder Rod. That's going to do some big damage. I'm going to guess Edgar has around... It's got to have 50 to 60 magic power just based on that Thunder Rod damage. Shoot, I missed the reward for... Uh... <laughs> I missed the reward for Falconet. Shoot. Ooh, I did as well. I might have to pull up... Some, a side a side window here real quick. Yep, Saber as usual, pulling triple duty. Most of us start calling like, me a Cerebus with three-headed wolf or something. Ooh, we have lock at the top of the arch. It's more of a amount of arms problem. You need to have, you need to have four arms, I think, to pull off. Well, here's our other rolls. Illumina user with a uh, lock here. Um which Falcon it doesn't know about the extra Illumina yet. But that is huge. Indeed it is. That'll keep uh, saving on the bum rush duty. Oh, fixed dice. He can use fixed dice. Never mind. A little slow, but... Oh, fixed dice offering. Okay. 
A little slow, but they'll do damage. Mm-hmm. I think Falcon Hit got an Esper. Yeah, I want to see you got an Esper. Yeah. Oh, I can look at the tracker. Duh. The only one that doesn't have tracker is Infinite Fluff, so I can't see what yeah. Fluff did. It looks like Kieran. Yeah, he does have two I think I peaked, I peaked a, a Merton on that Kieran. Of course, Fluff does have a tracker. 4 1 for Boo. Pero has uh, 4 Pero has 4 1. And this does Gao pick up, and he does have an Esper. Yeah, very curious with that uh, for Boo, Paro, and Falcon Head. They both, they all are doing the meet the trench. Um, we've seen Fluff go, go their own way. Um, yeah, yeah, Fluff kind of went off to the beaten path, but uh, I like the progression for these guys because they do get a free quote unquote check by getting a, and then you end up getting a character with a, a vanilla Gao, and then you can get levels before moving on into some of the bosses. And yeah, this is a big boss here at the top of Norris for Kefka and Norris. That is the Three Stooges. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like Siren was the reward for that. Oh, is there's a mansion check? That's what mm -hmm. Chad is Chad's pointing out there. Um, now, also by going their own way, Fluff is the first one to have those double Illuminas, so. Yeah. Um, he is behind, and, though. He is behind. And they got the through though. Inferno, which would be a nice chunk of experience. So, um, oh, it's really going to be about if their alternative path rewards them with, um, you know, different progression. That's maybe a, a faster. Oh, I guess everything's open. So, yeah, it is open There's world. Real... But if the fluff and Paracanera is both going to go ramp here, going to Mount Zozo. Uh, this is a free check with no boss. Um, but does have the dragon, so they can loop the dragon in here, which is scaled. Mm -hmm. And required. Gotta get four and of those. Required, yes. So they are gonna do the dragon here, too. And when, and they're gonna want to... I always... When there's dragon rewards, I tend to, like, bum rush dragons and just try to get that reward early. I figure it will benefit more if I have those things for more of the run. And because it's open world, you can get they can get to any dragon. Um, if Fluff does Narsh after this, I think Fluff's going to win this. I do like the dragon Tritok Umaro Narsh trip. It's a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about World the... of Balance Narsh and flip the World of Ruin Narsh. Ah, yeah, that's a that's a lot of checks in in Narsh these days. Double blue dragons. Oh, so that's new. Uh, so that is a merchant that just fell down. So it was Mog before. So I guess that was part of the update. <laughs> I wasn't there before. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little surprised we haven't seen that Magitek factory play. I figured with. Oof. I guess with the offense, they don't really. It's not. That's almost like a luxury. <laughs> but there's a lot of progression in there, and a couple of it is guaranteed. So, Genji armor, the reward there for doing Bluey the Dragon, along with uh, I believe it was an elixir. Got an Esper. It is an Esper for both of them. So I just picked those off of them. Now let's say you were a person and you were engaged well, in a long-distance... Well, I am a person. Distance... I'm also a wolf, too. Okay, well, here, <laughs> let me finish the second part. You're engaged in a long-distance uh, love letter affair, and you learn that you've been writing letters to a magical crystal the whole time. Do you think that you would feel pretty bad about that, or what would be your thoughts in that situation? Well, it depends who it is. If it's um, Odin or Raiden, or is it Maduin who's cheating on uh, Terra's mom? I mean, I guess it depends. Mm. <laughs> I think it was Palador, as well as the actual one. So it was a fly. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a... Zoneseek. It was Zoneseek, actually. Oh, okay. They're kind of <laughs> weird looking. I yeah, don't know how I feel floating, about that. Kinda. <laughs> they're giving me ghost sort of vibes, so. 
Yeah, not the best. Ah, uh, damn, Miss Pelkin hit again. What he got? Ah, too many um, things to do. I will, I will check on that real quick. And almost as I was uh, like, it is an Esper. It was an Esper. I got it. The only person I can't, the only person I can't catch is uh, Infinite Fluff. So I need to look. We'll have to try to keep. Yeah, and we'll call on Chad as well. Help us keep our eyes peeled on. Yes. On them and Boo heading in to Magitek. Getting that yes. upgrade. I like this play, Babu. This is a triple check plus getting the rocket launcher out for uh, for Gal, which is basically a uh, flare. Mm-hmm. Faster. And infinite fluff, like it was as if he was hearing us. He just went to uh, World of Ruin. Narsh. Yeah, we are psychically sending first, suggestions yeah. out into the world and. Ooh, oh, we're getting a cheeky, on that. Ooh. a cheeky Lee River trip here Ooh, from Paro. I'm a huge fan of this. Big fan. Um, so Paro electing not to do the experience egg on uh, Sabin. He's going to go for the bum rush now on Sabin. And if the fluff actually going for the thunder shield, not an experience egg there. I guess if they're planning to go to Narsh, World of Balance, they can get it as part of getting the Welk check. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but you want to get the levels early, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, I would. Because you're about I, to fight yeah. a dragon, which gives you a crap ton of experience. For oh, experience. 100%. 100% agree. But I guess, you know, it's like, oh, it's on the way if I do it the other way. Like, oh. we're getting Dragons. into, like, the Hello. too many things territory. We got a Bahamut Esper as well. Yep. Oh, that's Madge Power plus one. Thank God we're not keeping track of bosses and checks. My God. <laughs> I don't know how Cat yeah. does it. Well, they have achieved mastery of the mystical tracking ways at a level that we can only dream to achieve. Mm-hmm. I bet if it's going to take a while for this ice dragon, though. Um, not probably the dragon he wanted to see here. He doesn't have fire three or anything. The only thing he has mm -hmm. is fire dance, which is is doing okay damage. Illumina not proccing, oh, but does get through the fight. Oh, Falcon is going to get that Illumina. Yeah. Unless they decide to zap that door. That's kind of the only yeah. thing that would... Getting some Atlas armlets. I think Very it would take nice. about the same amount of time. I wouldn't bother zapping it. It would take about the same amount of time, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fluff getting a fixed dice from that dragon drop. Now we do want to point out. Oh, for no free lunch, there is no espers in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, auction house. So, oh, boo! I missed what boo got again. Dang it. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was, was the, another esper for boo. Very nice. Yeah, I would say this is still uh, very, very close. It feels like I want to give the edge to Falcon Hit. Basically just because I feel like they started like hitting dragon, checks yeah. a couple minutes earlier. Uh, Falcon Hit doing another doing a dragon here. He's doing Opera House Dragon. Well, Infinite Fluff going to the top of the world here in Narsh, World of Ruin. Is finding uh, Inferno's little brother, 128. By the way, Perukanara is still on the river. This is the problem with the river. It takes forever to get through it. It does. They're getting some good, high experience encounters. Mm. And a lot of money, which I don't really know if it, our runners need at this point. Get your street cash, yo. Let's see, even if Fluff finishing their fight, they're going to be rewarded with an Esper. Because the cool thing about one free lunch is the Esper rewards is going to be higher than the dead checks are going to be because of the no free lunch. Yeah, there's only a couple of checks that won't give us progression with this flag. Is it two? Is it one? It's two? Um, yeah, it'll be two because the... Um, because this is actually this we're still on version, I believe, one point two. 
No, I think actually they rolled 1.3, actually. But it doesn't matter because no free lunch, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about I was thinking about Ultra League, how we only have one Esper now and the auction houses did too. Very nice. Yeah, I saw Fluff scored a gauntlet out of the Yeti cave, which is one of my favorite oh, pairings. Too. With uh, an Illumina user, since that Illumina gives us like shield like stats. It's great to two hand that and just absolutely destroy things. Ragnarok in, from the Yeti cave. And for the second week in a row, it's Flame Eater on the river. We're from Spicy Chicken to Flame Eater the last two weeks. Not too bad of a one. Weird place for them to be hanging out. Um, you know, I guess even even a sentient ball of fire likes the lazy river trip every now and then. Well, Parker Narrows is going to be the first person to get all the blitzes there for Saban. So Saban now has Bum Rush available for them, along with the Esper of Maduin. Yeah, and perhaps they find, you know, and any future Blitz user, right? There could be more than one um, with the stronger commands. Oh, he's going to do Magic Facility now, too. So he's going to get mm. Gao all of their abilities after getting Saban all their abilities. Getting that squad online, I think... Boo and Pero are just looking for a, a character that they can control. Um, Falcon Hit has obviously found theirs and with Locke, and I'm not sure that we're going to see a lot of party switching once our runners get four <laughs> controllable characters. I miss Fluff what he got there. Um, uh, the Yeti K was an Esper. It was an Esper, was, okay. So that's it was Esper. Ragnarok. Now, this guy's which is leader. So this is going to be quick. Uh, Falcon Hit getting their second dragon here. That's a dead leader. As soon as I look back, the leader is dead already. <laughs> oh, dead check, yeah, well, though. Yeah, with that gauntlet and the Illumina and the Experience Egg, that Sabin is slapping for like 3,500 damage already. Oh, so Falcon Hit finishing the second dragon gives them a third available Experience Egg. And the Dragoon set for uh for edgar so now edgar has a dragon horn and a high tier spear yeah i'm, I'm really cute I, I feel like our top time just based on the drops that we've seen like i'm thinking there's gonna be like a 105 um, oh yeah experience age dragoon set double lumina i mean my god this is good we're gonna go sub 105 this is gonna be a very short night because two dragons with the with the flags that they've ch chosen, it does a lot, right? Like when mm -hmm. they get to their four, they get plus twenty strength, which is cool. But like, eh. really, that egg, and then the fact that Edgar is a natural jumper, and we're gonna get a My horn. My girl. Ah. Where was that at? At the end of Magic Tech Facility is Celeste. So it is Double Esper Celeste for Magic Tech Facility and Gao online for uh, Magic Missiles. Yeah, that's a great trip. And How can it's going? Um, Celeste has Morph, which is cool, and can use an Illumina, mm. which there are lots of. Um, and is controllable, unlike the Yeti. So I think Boo and Peru will both be pretty pleased with their trip as Fluff is heading into the Dome of Dream. Yeah, um, Falcon Hit's also going in the Magic Tech facility a little bit behind uh, Peru, so... So when Falcon Hit finishes M-Tech, they'll be at six characters, seven Magicite, and two Dragons, which mm -hmm. is a lot of progression for what'll be at the, what, like the 35... 34 minute mark when they come out of this dungeon not a character for infinite fluff i want to point out infinite fluff only still only having three characters here has not found gal or celeste or yeti i'm oh, sorry yeti to start with so it has not found gal or lock or celeste yeah for an open world we have not really seen <clears throat> a ton of divergence like our three runners are following fairly similar paths. Some of that is like 
certain checks are just faster when it's open world. Having the incentive to go to the Magitek factory because everyone else has found a gal. Uh, Infinite Fluff doesn't have a strong reason to go there yet. So, as of right now, it looks like that divergence uh, hasn't paid off, but it, I don't know, it's still too early to tell. New check here for Boo, Gal, uh, the uh, waterfall here for um, Chad. Yeah, I want to see the power. We're going to see our first uh, rocket, I think. I want to see what kind of power we're looking at, because I know Gal has been getting magic power boost. He has the earrings, too. Let's see here it comes. 5,000 damage. Ooh, okay, that's great, because... They're probably only level 20-ish, 20 to 25, I would say. Uh, Pericanera is, is uh, Blitz uh, Sabin's doing about 3,500. Uh, even if Fluff, I missed the reward, the second reward there. Oh, this is, no, this is the second reward, my bad. Yeah. Daddy Luma. People are dreaming about Daddy, huh? Just saying. <laughs> We, so we've seen a couple of the scarier bosses in the pool so far. We saw Chad. Mm -hmm. We saw Inferno. But a lot's still out there. So Kefka's Tower can always make or break a jet seed. And we'll see what happens. And we'll see who's what's at the bottom of the river. Yep. The fall. Fucking hit making those uh, fixed dice uh, offering really work for them. Fluff picking up Alexander um, as Dream 2 reward. Strago is hanging out at the bottom mm. of the falls. And the Infinite Fluff picking up another Esper on the throne. Bringing them to six all day. Mm, not really good spells, though. I see X Zone. That's about it. Yeah, another strength esper, but we'll see where they're heading off to next. They gotta be thinking like, where's my characters? <laughs> <laughs> I just want like maybe three total, obviously, but one would be nice to start. It's, I never love not having a full party like half an hour into. Oh, but he's gonna go do a new check, uh, Cave in the Velt, which is a shadow check, which is peekable. By the way, Guardian on the tracks here, not an easy boss, but again, again we do have 8,000 damage coming from yeah. Gao, who's not even everyone, using the rocket launcher yet for Pharaoh. Everyone has gotten that match power plus two from the Thief, oh. I think. And and the ones that have have thrown it on Gao for Quad great nines for Saban? Oh my goodness, okay. Paro, I think, has the most damage output right now. Yeah, and they're about to get Celeste. Trip. They're going to get Celeste with Illumina. And they're going to get, mm -hmm. when they get a second dragon, they're going to have Dragoon, full Dragoon set for Edgar. That's ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, having a natural jump plus horn plus Atlas armlet and a good spear is a lot of damage per turn. Another Esper for Fluff. Okay, that's seven. It's hard in open world sometimes, as the, I mean, as a racer too, as a commentator, to be like, well, where will they go next? Because there's so many options. Um, we could see Fluff start to tread the ground that the other runners have done. Um, Boo picking up character 7 here. Okay. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah, he will. Oh, then, yeah. I don't, kind of my sure. Not that great at this point in the run. Now, yeah, good for selling, but that's about it. We're pretty much brute forcing this setting. <laughs> Magitek, uh, Missile... Uh, bum rush and two alumina. Alumina plus dragoon are two aluminas. And that's pretty yes. much our offense. Very 
Nice. So Fluff picking up their seventh Esper. Still looking for their fourth, aka first character to find. Yeah, that's the only thing hindering Fluff right now is characters. Um, he is finding some good stuff, though. Everyone has crazy levels. Like, Paro's levels, he's averaging over one level per minute of this race right now. I mean, that's the power of experience eggs we're seeing firsthand. Man. But Gal's level 40 and probably yeah. has, like, 100 magic power. Edgar's level point. 40. Uh, we're seeing Kepka at Narsh, which we've seen that. That was... That was an another Esper. Esper. Yeah. Yeah, Boo's behind an Esper's right now, while Fluff's behind our characters. And he is going to get Gao here, because he's going to go where Dried Meat is. Because, again, shops are vanilla, so we know where the Dried Meat, we know where the White Capes are. Both of which are on the, uh, are immobilized in the town of Velt, so... Yeah, that should mean, because Gao was, oh, they've already, well, I guess more behemoth suits for infinite fluff here. Yeah, it's not a bad um, thing. At least, yeah, at least when when the senior behemoth shows up, when Senator Behemoth is here again, <laughs> it's only their second form. The uh, problem for fluff is he actually has to play around the Yeti here because... If the Yeti punches ah. <laughs> uh, the Gao in the face, you're not going to be able to get him. And he's and like a half a second yeah, away from it, punching him. And he's going to... Oh, no, he's going to hit him! It, no! Oh. We killed Gao! <laughs> oh, that's so rough. I always get so frustrated with the Yeti on the belt. That's like the one time I was like, ah. Oh. Okay, we yeah, got Lobo it, and we got Gao. There so we, we go. got immediate Gao there. There we go. But we have to go They're all the way hungry. to the bottom of the panel to try to get this uh, dried meat here. Yeah, we got it this time. Very nice. <laughs> Pero Canero is getting their dragon for their Dragoon sets, so and now they have a Dragoon set as well. Who is doing the Moogle defense? Moving the experience egg over the save, and save is behind, behind quote unquote, on levels at level 33. <laughs> oh, Gao, because they got knocked out, is they they picked him up wounded. <laughs> oh no, really? Yeah, they were they're knocked out right now. So he has a dead seen. Gao. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's actually bad. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow is right. Well, this is gonna. I mean, it's still a character, so. I it's mean, progression. Yeah, but that's M Tech missile. That's that's M Tech missile. Just, he's not gonna get now. I'm gonna experience the Gao show, and oh. and it may have to go a, a different direction with um, the that second set of fixed dice two. for Falcon. It. Have we seen Asper Mountain yet? I don't uh, think so. No, which is Doom. Um, Doom. Yes, we do have permadeath on. This is the first time it became a factor, and I just didn't I didn't know that if you knock out Gao yeah. or the Gao person on the Velt, they join. Wounded. I feel like I've had that happen to me on the Mobiliz check on permadeath seeds, which is another fun time. Um, but, yeah, that's a tough... That's a tough break. Yeah, definitely. Week. Oh, Edgar missing themselves. <laughs> Doom is down. So that's one statue we've seen outside of the tower. Um, Falcon Hit is one Esper, one Dragon away from Kefka unlock here. Well, we know there's an Esper in the Yeti cave, so... Yeah, so he's probably going to get the last dragon in Kefka's tower. Yeah, I would think so. Taking it on... Probably the right side dragon, I would imagine. A little behind on Boo. Boo has hadn't gotten two Espers, and now a third Esper now, actually. 
a little behind Boo here. Heading over to Doma Siege. Another fast one. I think Falcon hit. I think Infinite Fluff has eight espers, I think. I'm gonna mark him for eight for now. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, we got a, they're real synced up here. Yeah. Double try talk. Um, this won't be a problem. Oh, not a problem for Paro, and heck no. Um, his bum rush doing quad nines. Fire three from Celeste, also doing quad nines. That's a dead tight dodge. Wow. Yeah, if Infinite Fluff's going to have a hard time trying to keep up, considering he still has a Yeti and a dead Gao. This was not a character, so it's probably... <laughs> this would be Esper number nine, bird. possibly, for them? Yeah. So Pero needs a character, and then two dragons, which they can get in the tower or outside. Uh, Fluff's still looking for two characters, three dragons. Falcon hit, going in. They are essentially in go mode at the 40-minute mark. Um, and Boo is looking for their espers, which they will get. By finishing out these checks. Well, Pero needs an Esper and a, and a character, but he's going to back out of that instead. I guess he's just looking for character only here. Let me check his... Oh, no, he needs a character only. He does have nine Espers. So, okay. So he's looking for another character. Uh, Boo getting a dragon there. That's actually Boo's first dragon, I believe, of the contest. Uh, Falconet not unlocking Kefka's Tower yet is going to give the dragon here in Kefka's Tower in order to uh, unlock it, and that's a reset for Fluff. Oh, Paro's actually doing the uh, Norish World of Balance series to try to find a character here. Well, they will find one at the Lone Wolf. Yes, but he's probably going to do Welk on the way up. Fluff heading. They're character hunting at this point. This is a peekable one, so they'll get to know after the first fight. Usually we do promos and stuff here, uh, guys, but this seed is going so fast, we just haven't had a chance. <laughs> um, usually I'm promoting like uh, Ultros League and hang out with events and our Discord channel, but wow, I mean, this, this seed's going so fast. It's just yeah, it's just sure. hard been hard to keep up. Speaking of Ultros League, uh, uh, signups are open. Uh, it is a great fun way to both. If you're a new racer, it's a fantastic way to learn the game and run a seed with a group of people every week, and you you know you get to chat about it afterwards, um, all the way up to. Uh, the top division to really cut your teeth against the best of the best and I've had fun every season and we're a couple weeks out from the start of season four so anyone on the fence sign up we got the commissioner in chat you'll hear it here first the first 100 players to sign up have their zero dollar entrance fee waived for the event so <laughs> zero dollar entrance wow it's a huge huge deal by the way, Falcon hit officially getting Kefka's unlock. You know what that means? K -k -k experience and another egg. egg. Yeah, another There's experience There's the egg. omelet. That's that's the three experience eggs you need for an omelet. I say that's the fourth experience egg available in this uh, in this seed. An omelet and a sunny side experience egg just to look at uh, I'll save the extra egg for french toast mm, good that? call that can make it go a lot farther yeah. Oh, yeah 
Mais ouais. Non. <rire> Uh, let's see, Boo is at seven characters, nine espers now. And for that, I've lost track of Fluff. I've, I've need help with dragon. Fluff though, unfortunately. Peril's got six characters. Uh, he picked up his lock. So they're heading for the tower. Likely. He's got ten espers now. <laughs> He's got two dragons, though, so he still has to do uh, two dragons. Okay, he, Fluff he picked both... up Saya. Recent checks. They're at five. They got their fifth character. Yep. Uh, Boo getting his second dragon in here. Uh, Pero, actually, I would just split the party up. Go to Kefka's tower. Just do both dragons in the tower. You have so much bleeping power fire power yeah you can just you can solo dragons now but he's not gonna do that he's gonna go to he's gonna he's gonna go to opera house i would have just soloed the dragons you're doing quad knights yeah with gao like in that and that magitech i think they could go middle path by themselves oh then, yeah i mean any of these characters they're you know free falling sorry i do a friend from fluff they have gotten uh a lot of tools, they've used them very well to really create some optimized party builds here. And, Could we know, get sub one hour? Uh, We're 45. I mean, Falcon is at 45 minutes and about to hit switches here. It's not impossible. Um, I think the fastest, you know, Kafka fight is still, what, six or seven minutes? Eight? Because there's like transitions and whatnot yeah well mr turner of the month is really showing us the deal falcon hit here going to the first of the four bosses here at kefka's tower the guardian check is tentacles not an easy one if it gets slow on you it can get slow yeah um these are not great dice rolls. rolls there we go okay well that's one down nah. nope nope didn't get it Quad nines per hit from Edgar. Wow. Yeah, Falcon hit multiple. You know, they've got their two titles from Coliseum 2. Mega Lixer, Season 3 champ. Um, recent. They've got a couple tournament of the month. Or more. Yeah. I don't even know. I know I run into them in the pods all the time. And, and I don't make it out of the pod round because... <laughs> um, a falcon hit a lot of the time, but I think that we're oh we're getting that blitz. Yep, Boo doing it the hard way. Level forty two blitz guess. going to Duncan's house. That's a tough call. I think again I would be paranoid that the seed is so fast and that we've gotten so much stuff that it's like is that one too many I... like offensive tools. You can never have enough offense. The best best defense is the better offense. I mean, in this uh, that we're seeing for Paro, I mean, Paro's got the best offense overall. Um, if it had Fluff, I would think would have had the best offense if Gao didn't die. If Gao didn't die, he would have gotten Magitech Facility in there. That would have gotten him all the extra espers he needed, couldn't, and just been smoked and then smoked the rest of the seed. But. The only thing keeping Fluff in this game right now is the extra Illumina they have. Yeah, and again, that's just like a really tough break. And like, man, it's just so... We don't often play with Permadeath on. Yeah, and, and that was such we a don't weird often way of getting Gao, too. Be on the Vault to, with the Yeti to get a character. And then I can't remember the last time that they, like, balk someone and like knocked him down so it was like yeah a very low percentage combination of things that just broke in a, a real bad way um fluff going for their blitz from duncan i think uh fortunately i think i'm gonna say fluff is out um unless some catastrophe happens to the rest of our runners well we have so much offense these bosses are pretty easy kefka here for falcon hit one of the statues yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to curse 
or not, you know, like, and say who we haven't seen in the statue spots. I mean, we saw... We're going so fast, right? Like, that. I don't want to say that, like, Poltergeist is still out there, and so is Magimaster, and I don't think... Goddess is out there, too. Anyone's learned Berserk, but even with... They have too much firepower that, you know, even if I do summon them all... Ooh, Celeste goes down, though. Uh, yeah, forever. But, yeah, but Falcon hit. That was one of his uh, one of one of his main four, though. So. Okay, his yeah, that's fair. His main four is lock. So. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, Final Kafka can get wild. Yeah, but you know, you have I tunnel think... armor. Tunnel armor is an inferno. We have Kafka Ugh. at one of the statues. <laughs> I mean, this is not. Uh, this is not that hard fights. I mean, the hardest one we've had is tentacles. Yeah, the only thing I would be looking at right now is, like, do we have our final Kefka tools, right? I don't see Golem. I don't see Phantom. Yeah. I don't see... Uh, I guess Fenrir. that's our... I don't see Life 3 either. I don't see Phoenix. Um, and I don't think we've learned... I've, I've seen some maybe Exxon and Doom. Uh, we don't have a lot of magic users going on so... with all the mute. Um that's the really one thing that I'll be curious about is that that is the one thing the seed hasn't given out is our Kefka tools yeah so uh, last, last boss here is Rex Soul that's not going to be a problem um, with, with the tools we have the only problem would probably be if you were using uh, Bum Rush for Sabin he was on his own um, mm-hmm. that would be the only difficult thing I would see on this is probably Canaris is going to get their Kefka unlocked now um that's the third dragon there for Boo, I believe. Uh, um, but yeah, I think I think it's I think you're right. I think the problem we're going to see here is going up to uh, K three and getting half our party wiped um, from calmness. Mm-hmm. And that I think, but we still have two. I mean, all four. The power is there. To all do four it characters too. are ridiculously powerful. Yeah, um, I don't see that being a problem carrying through with only two characters. But, yeah, the, right. what could trip us up is losing two characters with Calmness. You're right. We got Falcon hit 51-20. He could do sub, on one, he could do sub one hour. He still has a chance. This is a very powerful lot of damage seed give everybody. He needs to do it in approximately uh, 7 minutes 30 seconds, which is possible. Not it's likely, possible. but possible. <laughs> it's doable. You know, like I said, I think that our after the trials and tribulations of the drafts, the group stages, um, getting into the final four, it really seemed like in the draft they decided that they wanted to go real fast. Um, we'll stick around, folks. Are. We will have interviews afterwards, by the way. All right, so tier one, we're going to need to um, maybe just do a bazillion damage using instant death on the uh, the arm that is vulnerable to it. But for the most part, it's just oh, uh, ooh, a miss. I saw an attack get queued up there. Uh, if it's left going in, I don't know how many dragons they have, so we'll just keep an eye on him. But he is uh, unfortunately lagging in the back here, coming down the back stretch here. Uh, we yeah. do have Fire 3, I believe we have Ice 3, so those things we have. I think we saw Mute somewhere. We have Stop. Oh, I know we have Stop, because I did see Stop. Okay. Then, <coughs> yeah, I think. I mean, at this point, it's really. It's, it's Falcon hits to lose if they execute well. Well, that was a 53 uh, 23. That was a 1 minute and 8 second uh, tier 1. The second tier, we've got the Tiger. It does nasty things that we don't like. Zombie being a big one. Yeah. Um, we're going to want to get tools out of there with instant death. 
That'll be Gal's mute, job. Mute magic so they don't do a bunch of bad things, particularly muddle at this is very dangerous with a high offense oh. party. Oh, we forgot we had ice shield. We have Merton strats. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Even I guess they power. have three of them and then getting Edgar in the air if they don't have the fourth piece is a way to make it happen. Uh, Boo getting Kefka unlocked now. Ah, Magic getting a life three out there. On Tiger. Ooh, that's not what you want to see. Uh, tools is down by damage. Oh man, that's a big hit on Magic. Yeah, it's uh, probably going to be... Nope, that's Dispel, so he's dead, possibly. Yep, yep, uh, Magic's mm -hmm. dead. Big ol' spears. Prepping life three that, for tier nice. uh, three here. Now that magic is dead. That's yeah. I like that I like that plan, not having Mew take him out early. Oh the tiger's dead. Spend some time. Oh, oh they're three. Back. Um spend some time life three. They have more than enough damage that they don't set like Sabin can definitely take a little breather. Cast some cast some magic yeah we thought they were lacking it but they've got Tiger's life three. dead bluey's dead i think they have a they put a mirage vest on to it on their life three caster nice 55 59 so that was a two minute uh 30 Six second uh, tier two. He's on. I don't think he's on pace to break the one minute barrier. That's gonna be close. If if we can get bum rest to land on girl, I think we got it. Oh, we don't need to. We have we have M Tech. Oh, opening uh, Merton. That's gonna hurt Edgar. Getting the life threes up. Yep. Oh, we had health on lock. Mm -hmm. That's cool. A missile? Almost yeah. enough. There oh, we go. Yeah, Edgar's got it. Alright, so that's like six. That's like 12,000. Count it down for like, us. That's, that's like 20k down. Well, third the way. Almost 30. Yo. This one should put it over into the counter. Yeah, I want to see Calmness go on to Sabin here, because Sabin does have the Mirage Vest. 33, yeah, Medio. Edgar's in the air, so nobody should die. Oh, wow, it missed everybody. Double hop from Edgar. There comes Not enough. Calmness. Oh, that is enough. Is on Sabin. Both go on uh, Sabin! Didn't even need life three. Oh, wow. All right. 54, uh, sorry, that's uh, 57, 44. We have a chance, people. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. I'm trying to, th I feel like I've seen a sub one hour on some fast flags. Um, they can do it. Yeah, it's possible. They got a here. lot of life three going on, so, like, they might be able to just, like, go all out. It would be very tempting for me to do that. Wise? Probably not, but... If I'm Falcon hit and I want to send a statement to whoever else makes it out of this round, mm. I, might, I might go for the... Go, go for, for the, the gas here. Yeah. Oh, go for it. Get sub one hour? Come on, man. Perkinera is, by the way, at Kefka here. Now, they have even more damage than Falcon hit does. So they've already put out... They, they're going to skip Fallen one here. That's yeah. Ooh, hyperdrive. hyperdrive comes out. That's a dead lock. Ooh, oh, lock survives. Tanks it. 
Hank. Gotta, a hyperdrive. Another, another one. hyperdrive. That's We're probably in like oh, that's Ultima gonna kill counter. Him. Life three, fine. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. One Waiting minute. for Goner. Yep, here comes Goner, Proc. Oh, we're breaking shields. We're gonna guarantee the quad nines here. And... Got it! Sub one hour for Falcon hit. Pew, 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 pew. That's my air. 59 26 is the official time, by the way. Now, again, we Big have two winners. GGs. We have two winners for this. The lowest two Indeed. people are going to move on. So now we're going to put concentrate on Paro's screen now. Paro is in front doing Kefka right now. Yeah, making that climb. They've got a, a small cushion, but not enough to afford a misstep. Their Edgar has almost 7,000 hit points. They're blitzing for max damage. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, Ultros was our other boss that we had to fight? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, tier one down. Paro right. also chewing through tier one. I want to point out, though, but Paro is the newest uh, player on our FF6 scene. They do play other randomizers. Um, they joined in tournaments very, very recently. So this is a huge showing from a new face in the community. I think it's all, it must have been all of their work on, this, on their stats companion app. <laughs> it, it must have unlocked some sort of deep secret um, in, their, in their coding. But yeah, they, they're definitely one of our, our newer um, runners. But like, I've seen them put in you know put in the reps and that's a lot of times what it's what it comes down to is you know we got to learn how to do it but then there's playing enough that you start to get that feel of how a seed's playing out um you know a little bit ahead of time i mean they're doing so much damage <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Boo hitting their switches, I'm going to say that's probably like, they're probably like three minutes behind. Hmm. Can they catch up though and pass uh, Peril? Can Peril like trip up is the question. And so far it's been just smooth execution, outputting <laughs> mega damage. Falcon hit um, still uh, hasn't gone back to us if he wants to chat yet. <laughs> I mean, I think, be, I think I his heart's racing around. right now. He's like, holy I'm crap. I'm going to be running around hour. <laughs> the house. Oh, there he is. Here he goes. There's Mr. Sub One Hour Tournament of the Month champ guy here. Falcon hit. How you doing, Falcon hit? I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I... we, can, we, can, we can see, we can hear your mouth grinning right now. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, really close. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to make some hour, but I was like, my damage was like insane. I would have gone a uh, bomb rush, but the opener was just too good, right? Illumina in the basement, uh, fixed nice offering. As soon as I could get someone that could equip it. I didn't check tomorrow because he wasn't going to stick around, but like, oh, that opener was too good. Yeah, by the way, there was a second Illumina available in um, Ozer's Mansion, by the way. Ooh. Uh, but I wouldn't go there. It's, uh... It's, it's the problem with open world, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the longer checks are just, like, they're not worth going compared to, like, shorter checks, because obviously I don't have any knowledge about the seeds, so... Just going for a longer check would be... It would be like gambling, right? Gambling, there's something you get there. Which I kind of did because I did the the Narch loop with the Mog checks, which I think is a slower like series of checks, but it like worked out because I got a character that could also equip Pixdice. 
So I got the fixed dice offering up really, really early uh, in my mind. Yeah, you mentioned with the open world, you know, we have with all the choices available, do you do you just tend to look at, okay, what are the fastest checks that I can do or ones that I can kind of cluster together to reduce travel time? Kind of how do you narrow down your choices? Oh, uh, my opener is usually just, you do the treasure rooms and then, because it's 100% treasure randomization, right? You're probably going to get something good. I think uh, Franklin said you get a high tier item every six or seven chests. So you just go for like chest density. And then I like to do dried meat because it's always either a character or an esper. And then right next to it is the trench, which you I used to get levels. Ooh. After that. Sorry, Celeste going down percent. with calmness and Saban almost went down the calmness there for Barrow. Oh no. Does does Barrow have life three? No. Oh, unfortunate. Was that? I guess that was from Narsh. But Paro which... does have uh, oh, a crap ton of tools, by the way. <laughs> so, they're fine. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's great. <laughs> I I didn't even need Light 3. It's uh, it's really easy when both Calmness hits go right into your Mirage Best user. Yeah, that was amazing. But you know what else is amazing? Your Kefka climb total time was seven minutes eleven sec. Uh, seven, yeah, seven minutes eleven seconds. Seven eleven. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I think we we saw some similar. Both Boo, you Falcon hit, and Paro all did that. Dried meat into the serpent trench. Uh, that's kind of the opening checks. I would say you were you were the first one to stop the looting and and head for that. Um, Paro did take the time to go down the Lee River. Um, I think that was like the twenty minute mark to get the the Blitz online. Um, and they're about to get the Krakow here to to move on. Very close, Jaren Kefka. There's the Kapow Kapow for Pero Canaras. 106.28, they're moving on. So Falcon hit at a certain point, where are you gonna put these titles? Cause you gotta be running out of like space on your body to put the title belts, you know, of like <laughs> multiple ones. And you really feel like you're gonna have room to put a third belt on should you advance past Paro in the upcoming round. Oh, for sure. I'll be looking like a North Korean general. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes PQN Paro Canadres, our second semi-finalist winner, moving on to the grand final against this guy, Falcon Head. GG's to you. Dude, Dude someone I would come on. Need some <laughs> <for the rest. laughs> Oh, the, the opening was too good. I like, I did, yeah. Uh, Imperial checkpoint, the treasure room. I did SF basement. I was like, oh, I can just go. I should just check call engine just in case. And it was an experience like, and I was just like, oh, it's just free then. Well, the time yeah, the difference was through the roof. Well, the time difference for you, Pero, I will say, was probably doing Latte River to get that bum rush early on for Saban and then using that power to try to creep back up into the match again. Yeah, to, to be honest, when I saw Magic Power Plus 2 and Magic Tech Gao and the XPA, that was it. I, there was no need for the river. I was Wait, just, Magic uh, Power Plus 2? Was it Zenthi? Yeah, yes. yeah oh. it was Zenthi. So uh, I, just, I just went through the river because I had it on my route that I practiced and I said, yeah, let's just do it just in case. Uh, but yeah, it's like a four or five minute check. Easily. I I would have gone up the river if my if like there was nothing good in the basement, but there was good stuff in the basement, so I was like, oh, I don't need bomb rush, because my plan in this like set of flags is to just do like trench, and then get blitz online if I don't have anything good, and then get the egg as soon as possible. Yeah. But I had good stuff, so I like put it off. I did uh, mog checks. 
to to peak Omaro and also like try to get some stuff. It had lock, which was great. All right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Falcon and Paro and Boo, you all three pretty much did the same checks. If and if Love was the only one that kind of went off the beaten path, uh, they did find a second Illumina in Ozer's mansion. Um, they also, by the way, there was also three, uh, sorry, four experience eggs available in this seed. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this seed was the definition of jet. That's insane. Well, you guys it's added like, to the jet, but now I want to go back to the picks. Go back to the picks here real quick. You guys picked, after doing two dragons, you increase in power more. And you also get um, increased chance of getting better skills. And you get all the magic tech, which we saw everybody going through magic facility to get the like, gal, the rocket launcher. You guys made it more jet, I mean. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I didn't want, in my picks, I didn't want to like change anything, right? Because mine was diminished espers empowered characters, and I was just like, eh, this doesn't really change anything. I, I like the espers having having stat bonuses. It's really fun. Yeah, made, it made a EXPA and magic power plus two made just it was silly. This boss pops up, tech missile done. It's like every every boss was like that. It was just super oh, fast. Was, oh yeah, I, I was. I, uh, I would look away to the tracker, look back, and the boss was already dead. Like, <laughs> I couldn't even keep up with you guys. We couldn't even do, like, our promo pitches about going to our Discord, ff 6 worldsglidecom slash Discord, by the way, if you want to run these kind of seeds and this seed actually specifically that these guys just ran here. And I don't even think we even got our promoter runners or anything out. Like, <laughs> you guys were cruising. <laughs> The only sad part for me was the the Dragoon reward was a partisan. I was really yeah. hoping for something else. But, you know, when, oh, you're, when your anchor is doing... you start with an offering and an Illumina, come on. True. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so, oh, oh yeah, Dragoon said, yeah, whatever. Just keep when, rolling. <laughs> when your anchor is doing 7,000 damage for job, it's, uh, it softens the blow a bit. Oh. Fitz, you get in there and ask a question, buddy. All right. I mean, I so you two are clashing in the next round. Like, what? What are you looking to work on, or, or you know, how are how are you going to continue to a, improve it, going forward? It's a pray for a calmness card angle because I want to remove this open world as soon as possible. Yeah, same, same. Really? For me, it makes things more interesting, right? Because otherwise, I'm just doing the same round over and over again. It's, it gets a little bit stale. There's like options that I can do, but like mostly it's the same thing. Oh, GG Boo, by the way. He just finished. Yeah. He doesn't have yeah, the mic do. working, so no interview for Boo, but he says GG all. I do want to commend like Infinite Fluff because they really took the gambler's path. And that takes that takes some some determination and and some willingness to not have it pay off and it's something that i do when i think i'm overmatched in finals it's like all right sign a riverboat gamble let's let's hit a long check and hope for tell me a character tell me a tale <laughs> <laughs> i mean occasionally my let's say river trips in ultros league pay off and i did do an ultros league race where i went to burning house as soon as i could and i got a character before everyone else so yeah, every now and then, I get one, but uh, it's been a gamble. Not always Infinite Fluff getting path. through there with a Yeti. Uh, he's Whoa, finished his with a one thirteen oh two. GG. I appreciate some Yeti action on Final Gifka always. Yeah, Infinite Fluff had an unfortunate when they did their Gao check. Uh, the first time they got Gao, the Yeti smacked them down, and they ran and. Gao ran off, and so when they picked up Gao, he was dead, and oh. so they never, <laughs> they oh, never so got to. Uh, and so it was a really bad break that I think changed it overall with just the amount of power that Gao had to offer, and also the the Magitech factory had a lot of value overall besides 
the upgrade. So I think if we point to like one thing, um, it was not necessarily the route. I think it was that. That was the big, the big blow. Oh uh, yeah, I, uh, I've done no, uh, well in in in, my, in the past with my drug practices. I, uh, uh, what is it? Omaro is always the big one. I always let Omaro hit the last hit, otherwise he will he will kill your character. <laughs> I've uh, I've had this done many many times. There's also another seed where it's auto berserk. It's a very similar thing. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you, um, you cannot really do that check very easily. And for Paro, you know, like you're newer on to the community, you know, so I think you probably still remember that first seed that took like four hours. Do you have any any tips out there for maybe newer runners that are listening um, and want to and want to get to a finals one day? Um, I don't know, just uh. Uh, you know, it was a pretty particular situation with me and Wars Collide because I was uh, traversing a, like a very uh, difficult time. You know, some of you may know about my health issues, and uh, Wars Collide just came in at the very right time. Uh, a few, I, I actually learned the, the the randomizer a few months before my bone marrow transplant, and I remember watching runs from the hospital and uh, and practicing a lot uh, while I was there. And I, the only thing I have to say is just uh, just uh, reach out to the community. This community is one of the most awesome things ever. And there's always going to be someone in chat or in Discord trying to help you out, uh, help you route, help you improve, help you do whatever it takes to uh, have fun and become a better player. So I would say enjoy the community because uh, I've participated in many online communities and it's very rare when uh, such a great uh, group of people just uh happens like this one so that's uh, the best advice i have yeah and that's great advice i know that was some of what i did too is i had some more experienced runners just hang out on my stream give me some tips and and hopefully we get a another moogle tournament going on and get some mentoring but yeah definitely uh ask and you shall receive in terms of you know, if you're looking to get a little better, maybe you've hit a wall and that's kind of like, ah, I can't really figure out. Sometimes a little outside perspective. Oh, uh, I do have one concrete tip. I'm going to quote Gar on this one. Uh, mm. Get out of the menu. That's what he said to me. Get out of the menu. <laughs> yes, the menu boss is that's, the worst boss in this game. That's the, that's the best advice I can give. Yeah, definitely. Especially in a seed like this where, like, uh, there's so many good things available that like perfect is the enemy of going fast um, in a jet seed yeah. and just kind of overall. Yeah, you know, auto mute actually helped me improve a lot of my menuing because I was not teaching spells to pretty much anybody. Maybe one character had my my, my spells, so I cut a lot of menuing time by just not teaching spells to anybody because everyone's gonna be muted most. Of most of the time, so uh, it's uh, one of the things I learned. All right, any, um, any, any last minute quotes, guys, before we wrap this up? GG, uh, I'm glad it's you I'm seeing in the finals because it's going to be a very good match. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you for I... creating the, the tool to analyze, analyze the. Oh, you... You're using the stats companion? That's nice. Damn, I would like to see your stats. It's probably like three minutes on the menu or something crazy like that. No, the, the menu boss is also one of my one of my greatest foes. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm very glad to be in the final. I was not expecting that. Like, uh, uh, I, I, my goal was to reach the final table and I, that's more than done. So I'm super happy that I'm at the finals, of course. Let's see what happens in next week. Let's wait. Let's see what what jet cars can we get in. Can we get the uh, uh, sword tech unlock and a couple more? <laughs> That's really all you're missing is sword tech. Magic right. factory sword tech for the for the extra value. Oh. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, well, GG's to you all. Just want to highlight again our final uh, times here. Falcon hit once again, 59.26. Perla Canada's one minute, six, uh, sorry, one hour, six minutes, 28 seconds. Both of them are going to move on to our grand final next week. Uh, we'll let you all know through social medias and everything of what time that match will be. We'll definitely bring it to you all live right here on FF6 Worlds Collide or on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to get one final plug in. Um, June 16th to the 18th, it is the Final Fantasy 1 randomizer community is putting on their summer charity marathon. We'll be raising money for the Liam Foundation, and I will be part of the overnight Jets of Time relay race at 2 a.m. Eastern uh, Saturday morning and then closing it out Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern running Worlds Collide uh, a little flag set of my creation that I based off of um, a free enterprise uh, flag set called Supermarket Sweep so Ooh, it should be fun it should be fast-ish um Although, of course, my submission was like the worst possible <laughs> combination of like bosses and and dead checks. And it was not fast. So, uh, you know, I'll have to do a little vetting. But yeah, it should be a good time. And, and I'm excited to participate. That sounds awesome. And again, all the uh, subscriptions that we have here on Twitch. And now, thanks to all y'all on YouTube, we hit 1,000 subscribers. And now our partnership with YouTube... So you win, you will be seeing ads on there, but those ad sales will go right back into the community. All these uh, marathon events and fundraisers we do, all that money goes right straight into theirs. We don't keep that money. That money goes right back into those marathon events, like the one uh, One Free Fits was mentioning. So when we show up, we don't just show up with a gameplay to entertain you all. We actually show up with a little bit of money, too, to, for the uh, fundraising events, too. All right, we're going to wrap things up right there, you all. Once again, I am Super Wolf. I want to thank Falcon Hand, Pelican Arrows, Boo, and Infinite Fly for running in this tournament. Also, thank One Free Fits for joining me in the booth for saving my voice from last week. <laughs> I was flying solo. Um, so thank you for Fitz for jump jumping in with that. And again, next week we will have the grand final for the Blackjack Battle Royale, the final table. We'll again stick to our social medias on when that will be. Once again, I am Sabre Wolf. Thank you all, and have a very, very good night. Bye-bye.